He's Romania's number one and finished in the top 50 for the second successive year in 2009. But what does it take to keep up that kind of consistency on such a competitive tour? To find out, we caught up with Victor Hanescu at the Copa Telmex, an ATP World Tour 250 event in Argentina. We are in uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, I just started my day. Uh, I'm a little bit tired from, uh, from yesterday. I had a good match. I won my first round here against an uh, Argentinian player. So I'm very happy with my first win. And um, today it's a new day and uh, we go to, um, to practice a little bit. Yes, we are ready to, um, to start our day. Life on the ATP World Tour is not just about travelling to some glamorous locations. It's about strict regimes, dedication and more dedication, if you want to win. All my friends, they think uh, that life, like a professional player, it's uh, something uh, very glamorous, but uh, actually it's a lot of travelling, it's uh, a lot of work. Uh, you have to, to practice a lot, but... Uh, in a different way, I think it's a, it's a good life. We earn uh, good money, we, we can see different countries, we meet different people, so uh, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's a good job and it's fun. Last year, Hanescu peaked at number 26 in the world, his highest ever ranking on the ATP World Tour, thanks in part to his longtime coach, Fidesel Tomal. We are not traveling every week like uh, <laughs> I met my coach very long time ago. I was uh, only 16 years old. Now I'm 28, so uh, uh, we know uh, each other very well. So uh, I can say he's uh, maybe like a father for me. The Romanian has appeared in three ATP World Tour finals, losing twice. He tells himself that defeat is all part of the learning process. Mentally, it's hard because play so many tournaments every year and uh, of course you, you can't uh, win all of them so maybe almost every week you lose a match so mentally you have to be very strong. Like a Romanian we don't have uh, so many players in, uh, in this circuit and uh, you know, let's say the Spanish, Spanish guys there are maybe 20, 30 players they are always together and uh, I think the life is more easier for them. In Buenos Aires, Hanescu was a star turn himself. He was given the chance to inspire the next generation of tennis hopefuls at the Cathedral of Argentinian Tennis. It's very good to play with them. I think it's very important for the kids to, to play with the, with the players, to, to grow up with this spirit, to learn and uh, to be there on the centre court. And uh, I think it's important for them and uh, it's good that the ATP is doing the, this kind of activities. After the hardcourt swing, the 28-year-old now aims to adapt quickly to playing again on his favourite surface. I like to play on uh, clay courts. I gr grew up on, uh, on uh, this kind of courts in Romania. We have only clay, so uh, I know the game. And uh, it's a little bit difficult coming from the um, from Australia. We played on hard, but uh, you need a couple of matches, and then you you get used to it. And his coach is determined his protégé will be one of the players to watch in the European clay court season. Victor is in good shape and is playing better and better. And uh, for sure on the uh, next mount he, he will play very good, especially on clay. We were uh, um, waiting for good results. <laughs> He's a very good boy. <laughs> Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we hit the red dirt in Houston with the best of the action from the US Men's Clay Court Championship. And we reveal just what it takes to compete on the ATP World Tour as we spend the day with Finland's number one ranked player, Jarko Niemann. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.